Hi guys, this is JJ Lockhart back again this week with a new drawing. This week I decided to work on a tattoo styled drawing of one of my favorite fandoms, inspired by one of my favorite fandoms. And I had originally started working on this piece soon after we found out um, Alan Rickman had passed away. But I just wasn't inspired to finish this piece. So I had done some sketching and I'd figured out the composition and I'd drawn it out and then I'd taken it into digital and done the line work and then added some of the basic or solid colors but I just wasn't inspired to finish it and uh, last week I was just going through my files and I saw it again and I just felt like it was time to finish it and so um, what you see here is just me mostly adding the shading and the color to uh, the to Snape's face um, like I said I had already added all the solid colors um, that's why that's not in the video because I actually hadn't recorded that so I just started recording when um, I started coloring his face and so I added that basic uh, beige color first and then I added a little bit of highlight and then I just for some reason didn't finish and so um, here, I, what I'm doing is I'm adding highlights. I've added in some uh, shadows already. And so I'm just further developing my high, my high points and my low points um, just to create more form and detail into, into his face. And just adding some more highlights. And adding a little bit more shadow. I'm just developing my darkest darks and my lightest lights. And I use the uh, blending tool and then the opacity those are probably my the two biggest tools I would say I use in, in, in sort of blending the colors together so I, I definitely use that blending tool a lot and then um, since I work in different layers I'm able to manipulate the opacity of the layers and therefore adding more variety to the shadows and the highlights And then I also use that spray texture in order to add a little bit of sort of like stubble or texture to his chin. And then I'm just adding a little bit of color to his skin tone and again manipulating the degree of brightness according to the opacity. I can just bump it down or bump it up accordingly. I do go with a little bit more vibrant color and that's simply because since it is sort of a tattoo style, um, like I've mentioned in previous videos, the blush is sort of, the blush and the lip color is usually exaggerated. And I went with a dark purple for his outfit, um, just as a base color. Um, after that, I'll just be adding a lot more shading and it'll overall look more like a very dark purple or just dark black, but just with some purple highlight. And so um, that's the way I approached it. I added the mid-tone first, or in this case, because of the simplified um, spray technique as shading, what I did is I added the lighter tone first and then I applied the spray and as you can see I also applied that technique that I use a lot where I delete an area or take out an area and then I go back 
and spray further on it and it creates this nice sort of variety and depth and then I'm just adding a little bit of highlight And then for the lily, I know I wanted to go with like a, one of those yellowy orange lilies. Um, I just thought that the yellowy orange color would look better with not only the purple of his outfit, but also since it represents Lily, um, I, I just, though I guess the way that she's perce perceived or portrayed in the movies is she's a redhead. And she has these sort of reddish tones in her hair, sort of like Ginny in the movies, where she has these reddish, reddish tones. And so Lily, um, when I think of Lily, I was thinking of more of a yellow or orangey colored Lily. And so that's why I decided to go with a nice orangey yellow color for the actual Lily. And um, I did pick out like a, a brighter green also to just call more attention or be a little bit more vibrant in that area. And again, I'm just using that spray technique in order to add that that effect, that that shading effect on the flower. Again, also so it sort of looks like the like a tattoo style. And then I'm going back and adding little areas of concentrated spots. And I've used like a red orange and like a more yellowy orange, and then I'm using yellow for the little highlights. And for the banner, I just went with a soft yellow, um, again, so it looks nice in contrast to the purple of his outfit. And with this, um, with this particular one, I usually do my own hand lettering, but for this one, I found a font that um, I had access to that was that I, I just felt worked really well, and so the uh, always in the banner is a font. I did not hand draw that. Um, and then when I backed up, I just zoomed out a little bit and looked at the entire picture. I felt like the white area in his hair was just a little bit too, I guess, lackluster or not enough color, not rich enough. So I went in there and added some browns. And then I'm just adding a little bit more highlight. And then I'm adding a light blue spray behind his head in order to make the silhouette of the dough a little bit more visible or interesting, just so that it's not flat black. And while I was, while I zoomed out and looked at the overall picture, I noticed that his hair was looking a little too brown and it's a little more black, so I added a little bit more shadow in there. And then I added some highlights. And I just adjusted the highlights a little bit. And that's the finished piece. Oh wait, I go back and add a little bit of highlights to the leaves too. And that's why I love to, to pull back so that I can see if there's anything really missing from the picture. And that's it. And thank you so much for watching.